Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Ganto book. My name is Jose, and today I'm going to show you the best 25 modifications I have done to our 2023 Geo Pro 20 FBS. We had this thing since late March, so we had it for at least 10 months, and we used it multiple times. There's always things that I like to mod modify. I'm not an expert at modifying everything, but when I get an idea, I research it and um, research it again, research it again, and maybe buy the product, and hopefully it comes out good. So far, I've been lucky. There hasn't been anything that I have done that turned out uh, bad, so I'm glad for that. So without further ado, these are the best 25 mods I have done so far to my Geo Pro 20 FPS. Enjoy. This modification right here is the Camco RV screen door crossbar. It protects the screen door and also allows easier access. This bar is nice because you can grab onto it. Because if you didn't have this bar, it'd be hard, it's hard to grab onto something. So if you have this bar, it's easier. You can grab it from here and bring it on in. So that was a good buy, and it's not that expensive. I'll put the price on the screen so you can see it. And also when the door is connected to it, you have something to grab onto, because that door is heavy. I wouldn't slam it using this. I would st still use this handle right here, but you can use it. But eventually this is gonna get loose if you keep using this bar. So there's a handle right there. Next mod, pop socket phone grip. I got this idea from Wine, Pines, and K9, and I love it. It was a great idea. As you can see, it's one of those things that you put in the back of a phone, and now you have something to grab onto when you open up your, your little screen door to get to the locking mechanism of the door. They do have this little this little thing here you can grab onto, but I like this better. It's just neat. And when you're not using it, you can pop it right back in. Pop it out, drop it in. So we like that mod. Our third mod is the cutting board right here that I use as a shelf to place my curric on. This is the configuration when it's done. I can still use my panel and this little table which uh, gives us enough room to have our curric standing right here so we can make coffee before we had this in the bathroom because we did not have room to put it anywhere. So we had a curric in the bathroom. I said, no, I don't like that. So now I have this nice cutting board and this is up like we would do while we're camping. And once we're going into travel mode, I would unplug it. I would put my curric in the travel bag that I have so it won't break and all I got to do now is to put this down is slide it it's on there with magnets so I have to slide it comes right off and put those down and that's how it looks I can still get to my panel and I've still got this area clear for travel now when I get into position and I level and put out the stabilizers and I'm ready, ready for some coffee. Put that up like that. Get my cutting board. Bam. Put my cork, take it out of the travel bag. Run it through here so it's not blocking the, the panel and plug it in that's it the mind reader single serve pod organizer wall mount a 20 pod capacity magnetic or adhesive we didn't test it out when you want a pod you just take it out of here and these are supposed to be in the groove this one is not in the groove there you go and it slides all the way back up that's not too bad i like it and then this little cork board here 
But we like that mod too, and we have it together, and it's not in our way. Next is our countertop extension. Fold it in. When you're not using it, travel mode, you still have room to walk. And, uh, oh, so even in travel mode, you still got room to walk around when it slides in. But it'd be best to put it down, you have more room. We really like that mod. Let me show you. It's from an old TV tray. I took out the legs and I have 12 inch brackets here. Very nice. And it's not in the way of anything. Bring it down. You're not using it. You put it back up and you can use it. You can be cooking right here and you have space right here and you still have your kitchen sink you can use right here, catty corner to you. So this is very nice because it gives us more opportunities to do things while we're here. It gives us more room. And you still have about three feet maybe to the uh, sofa. So you have plenty of room to walk around. It's not in the way. So we really like that mod. And normally I just, normally I just keep it up like that. Our sponge drawer mod, I had to disregard this because I had a nice little basket here, but it didn't stick and it fell down and it took me a while to get it out. <laughs> so I'm gonna try something different here. So that was a uh, fail, but I can still do something with that. That might be my next mod if it comes within the next couple of days. All right, we changed our kitchen faucet with a pull down sprayer and um, came out pretty good. It was kind of hard to get in there and to screw this back, to screw it out, the old one out and put it back in. But once you know what you're doing, it's not too bad. You got the sprayer. We like it. We definitely like it because before it was just goes back and forth. So we really love that mod. It came out really nice. This is one mod you probably don't need to do, but I like it. This is where our furnace is at. Right here. And it was held together with four screws. So whenever something dropped down there, it's pretty much stuck down there unless you want to unscrew everything. So what I did was put it on some hinges, hinges, two hinges, and I made it into a door with a magnet right over here. These are cabinet magnets. And when I shut it and just grab it and it comes off. All right, I added this three piece ceramic flatware holder with metal rack right here. This is where that black um, piece was where you can put your knives in. I had the nice slits in it. But I took that off, purchased this. Take the whole thing off. Purchased this and the board I covered with the backsplash. Let's see if you can see that. I covered with the backsplash so it matches my wall. And it covers the whole thing up. I don't even have it screwed in. This is heavy enough. Well, this ain't moving anywhere. So we have all our utensils in there. Even our silverware. So I love that mod. Came in handy. All right. Next mod is this paper towel holder. Got it on Amazon. These are the magnets. This is metal. Our valance right here on the kitchen window, it's metal. So I got lucky there. All I gotta do is snap it on, make sure it's straight, which I think it is. And 
paper towels right there. Now, if you're scared that when you're cooking on the stove top, that it might flare up and catch us on fire, it's okay, just take it out. Just slides right out. So you can cook like that and put this somewhere else. And then when you're done, you can stick it right back on. All right. And if you want to travel with it like this, you got to be careful because it might unravel on you. If you unravel and then it go all over the place. Tip it number one. Take your paper towels. Take a water bottle. Put a little pressure on it. When that dries, this won't unravel anymore. Yep. Put that back up there. So when it dries, it won't unravel. And you can do the same thing with your toilet paper. The same thing. Uh, put it in a triangle, water bottle, and then put a little pressure, make that indentation. That is a great tidbit. The Midgard 10 sheet peel and stick backsplash PVC wall tile for kitchen backsplash. That's it right there. Um, this one took me one, two, three, four, only four pieces right here, and it fit perfectly. I got lucky there, kind of fit perfectly. I had to cut the uh, just the edge off a little bit, and it came out nice. I have uh, an installation video if you want to see it. I'll link it down below with the uh, uh, timestamp. I'll put a link on it so you can link right to it. This is the Life Plus Electric Fireplace Log Set. 23 inch insert heater with remote control. 1500 watts. This thing was an um, uh, idea I had and I went with it. I looked high and low, researched uh, for something that I, I could use. I sacrificed a dr cabinet drawer here that went down. So I, I took that door off, put a nice trim on it. This is the backsplash trim that I use for the backsplash here in the kitchen and the bathroom. And I put one of these screens on here and I found an exact 10 by 20 uh, screen. And I have it held up by magnets. And at night, it looks real nice at night. And uh, Shelly likes it. That's exactly what we wanted. And uh, I'm very proud of that mod. I think that was one of my best mods. It's definitely in my top five. So, and then it comes with a remote. Shut it off. Turn it back on. It has a timer on it. And a few other features. Very nice mod. I, I'm going to put a link in the timestamp in the description down below. Timestamp. Look for it if you want to see the installation process of this uh, mod. Okay. All right, our cabinet mod. This cabinet right here used to open up this way. And it used to bang on here. Even though I put some knobs on here, it still would bang. And this thing was crooked, so when you close, it was crooked. You had to lift it to, to um, secure it. So I took that door off. It's right now in the garage. I'm not using it. And I put the old cabinet door that belonged down there with the fireplace. Stuck it up here. And now my door opens up. You see the plug lights? Motion detection? They come on. So I got a little light in there, too. So that's cool. This is where I put my pots and pans now. And some trash bags. And I don't have to hold this up. Don't have to hold it up at all. Look at that. Cabinet magnets on here. And then all you got to do is... Is there anyone? Yeah. I need to put a little bit of oil on there because it's squeaky. But that's how it goes. So you want to grab some things out, you're going to have to hold the, hold the door. 
and then tap it a little bit, it comes off. Like that mod. All right, under sofa storage. Take my arm lens out the way. Lift it. Some people have a little kickstand here that they hold it. I just use, do that. Use my ottoman and I can hold it up. And as you can see, that's a little bit of room down there that you can put some stuff. You gotta keep in mind you have this wheel well here that's in your way and you don't wanna block your, um, your slide out mechanism or mess up the, the wiring. That's probably why I don't have anything over here, but you could put some shoes, some flip flops. You could put them right there, out of the way. Before this was solid, you couldn't get in there. All you gotta do is let it go down. And when it slides out, it gives it a little bit of leeway. So it slides right over this nice and neat, which I'm gonna show you here in a minute, which is carpet. All right, in the uh, 20 FPS, there are three cabinets in the slide out on the top. And that's what we use as our pantry because we don't have a official pantry in a 20 FPS. So we have to store our food up here and it doesn't come with any struts. So you have to hold it up. But what I did was put those magnets like I did this one over here. I have magnets, now I can hold them up. Look what's inside. And put it down when I'm not using it. And it's held together with cabinet magnets right there. This right here, this is plastic, so it's not metal. So I might change these out to metal so I, can, I don't have to use these. I can just put it right there. But uh, I didn't do that yet. So right now I have that tab on there. And then the tabs on the top. And then they click together. And to stay up instead of buying struts i think that's a great idea all right let's get this thing in travel mode slide in all right in a 20 fps when the slide is in when you go use the bathroom you can't it blocks you now this isn't my idea. I saw this in plenty of uh, um, plenty of YouTube channels. You take this, you take this out, the cup holder. There's like three screws that you got to take out, and then this comes out, and then you place the sectional furniture hooks on it. Now I only have one, and I to align it, I placed one of the screws in one of the existing. Uh, screws and now with this off I can open it up and go into the bathroom just by just taking that off I don't have to um, take my slide out or anything like that and when you're done you can just slip it right back in there that's it done I'm just take the slide back out. This is the Home Buddy Pantry Door Organizer. It did come with six baskets. I took three of the baskets out because it wasn't fitting. Uh, I would block the uh, the handle, so I modified it. Um, but it doesn't get in your way. Now I can still open up my. When the door is closed, I can still open up and get stuff out of the freezer. But if you have like a, a large pizza there, you might want to just open up the door. And you have plenty of room to get that pizza or that long thing out. When the door is closed, it doesn't affect the bottom one. Because it opens right up. I put these shelf risers in here took out the legs and they fit in there very snug but you can put them in there 
Um, and the reason for that is it had the glass and it wasn't circulating the air too good. Um, things in the back here would be nice and cold. Things in the door, like my Cokes that I put right here, would be not as cold. And I like a nice cold Coke. So, right here we got one shelf, two shelf. Air can go through it. I also bought this beach, beach lane fan. Right now, it, I took the battery out and I have it in the back. You can put it on the bottom right here and it'll circulate the air a little bit. So the stuff in the back is not cold and the stuff in the front. And with these right here, nice. The air can go right through it. Next mod is I purchased this Oxygenic uh, Fury uh, shower head. And uh, we like it a lot. It helps with the water flow. So uh, we like that mod a lot. Right now I have it, since it's rinderized, I have it laying down here. Uh, in case any uh, antifreeze comes out. All right, all around the RV, we got these rubber bumper pads to prevent the doors from slamming. I got one there. I got one right there. And this used to slam really hard because this was metal and wood. But now look at it, nice and soft. And then I also put them inside the cabinet doors. So, to help out. All right, our other mod is the backsplash. I'll put in for our uh, bathroom. Same backsplash that's in the kitchen. And we like it, we like it a lot. Brings out the color a little bit. Very nice. So we have no complaints about that. I do have an install video if you want to see it. It'll be on a timestamp. I'll link it down in the description below. Okay. All right, next I have the hanging closet organizer and storage. Two, three shelves, separated closet organizer, hanging shelf. We have, we can put stuff on the top. We have two shelves and a drawer. Um, comes in handy because usually when we camp, seven days at the most, pretty much. And there's plenty of room here and plenty of room on the top here to put our clothes. Clothes, clothes. Yeah, no problem. What I had to do is put a tie on there because the roof curves. So I had to put a tie, as you can see, and kind of even it out, and I did. And voila, easy peasy. All right, next model are these puck lights. They have on setting. And an auto setting. Auto setting is a uh, motion sensor. And uh, as you can see, they're not so bright. They're bright enough. And it's magnet. I put a magnet strip here. And one underneath this cabinet. Put it right there. And you have a little reading light. And it's not so bright as disturbing your, your partner. And I have it underneath there now. And when you need to charge it, like I have this one charging right now, it's red, and shut it off. And when it's green, when it turns green, that means it's charged. And you can put the other one on there. All right, last but not least is our 100% blackout curtain. 52 by 72 inches, and they come in two panels, beige, uh, black lining, darkening thermal insulated curtains, and our tension rod. So we got tension rod. The tension rod is 78 inches to 108 inches. Tension rod. All you gotta do is put it on there, tighten it up. And then we got, I got a little clippy here. So it won't uh, open up when travel mode. Uh, 
And right there, nice privacy curtain. And it's also blackout. So if the lights are off over there, ooh, it's nice and dark over there. Yeah. Nice and bright over here. And in there, nice and dark. So they got the, the blackout. And it's insulated. So if Shelly takes her little heater that I have right here, over there, it might keep her warm. So I like that mod a lot. And when you're done using it, all I gotta do is close it up. Put that on there and it's out the way. All right, that was our 25 mods plus uh, that we did to our Geo Pro 20 FPS. We love this camper. We have nothing, nothing went wrong with it except for that crooked cabinet, but I replaced it. Uh, so that was it. Everything's working nicely. Knock on wood. And uh, hopefully we have a good 2024 without any uh, problems, uh, maintenance problems that is. So without further ado, if you have any questions, please comment down below. So like I said, if you have any questions, comments, put them down below, I'll try to answer them. And if you like, give me a thumbs up. And without further ado, that's all I have. And we'll see you on the other side.